Hello, New Life Bible College family. We're on the air. I'm going to wait for our students to come on. We're on the air. Come on, New Life Bible College. It's English 101, essay writing time. This is our English portion uh, semester um, learning, and we are going to dive in and deal with the writing process. We're going to deal with the writing process. Now, for my students, the way I'm going to know that my students, if you are in, you need to go to Messenger and message me and tell me that you're in class. Go to Messenger and go to my Messenger and tell me you're in class. All right, students. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Bible college folk. Let's go, new life. Let's go, new life. Bible college. Amen, amen, amen. Well, listen, we're going to get started. Amen. It is 729, 729. Um, 729, amen, 729, and we want to, amen, get started. I want to make, didn't want to make this public. Oh, for those of you who are tuning in, are seeing us, we are in our Bible College English essay course. And let's see here, what are we going to do? We're going to Make sure that everyone, amen, will get a hold of this teaching. Uh, okay, so when we talk about writing the essay, um, there are three uh, levels to an essay. And those three levels uh, is preparation, writing, and what we call revision. In other words, going over to your story, making sure that everything is in sequence, that each paragraph, uh, each sentences and each paragraph are staying with the thesis that you stated in the previous or in your paragraph, and also with the main thesis of your essay. So the body of work that you write should support your thesis. So you have an introduction. The introduction introduces your thesis, your central main thesis idea. And um, each paragraph is going to support your main thesis in your introduction. So your introduction has a thesis. The thesis is the central or main idea of your essay. So uh, your thesis, since we are in Bible college, and so uh, your thesis could be, um, what are the advantages to going, uh, what are the advantages of attending Bible college? And so, or you may say, uh, there are many uh, advantages to attending Bible college. Um, and then you can go on from there and uh, write your essay, right? So your thesis, which is your main topic, your main idea you're going to be writing is in your introduction. It is the 
first sentence in in your introduction, or uh, actually second sentence in your introduction. So you must have a central idea. The central idea is called a thesis, T-H-E-S-I-S, -S, your thesis. It's the central idea. So uh, for both classes, uh, your business class and your uh, theology class, you're asked to write an essay on what you've learned in those classes. So your essay is going to be on what you learned in theology, what you learned in business class. That is your two, that is what your two essays are going to be about. So you basically have you have your thesis there. So you're going to write about what you learned in theology from the time we started the day one uh, to uh, today, you know. So uh, an essay is going to have, of course, your intro, your body, and then your conclusion. Your intro starts off with the central idea. The central idea is what I've learned in theology school or in Bible college. What I uh, uh, for your next paper, for your business paper, uh, uh, what we've learned in business one on one, and so you you know you go on from there and you begin to detail. Uh, in writing, of course, what you have learned from start to finish. And it should be in chronological order. So what we learned in week number one should be first thing you talk about on both essays. So it shouldn't be out of order. Don't, don't, we don't want to be talking about uh, for the theology class, we left off with the tribes. Uh, and so we don't want to talk about the you shouldn't be talking about the tribe first you shouldn't that shouldn't be your first paragraph or second paragraph right the tribe should come last later on uh we should talk about creation talk about um how many books in the old testament and uh who wrote the old testament books uh we should be talking about abraham isaac jacob so those are the first um set of uh, topics that should be spoken of in your theology essay. And uh, if we can uh, remember those things, we want it in chronological order. And all you got to do is go back over your notes and uh, you can see when you got that particular teaching and put it in chronological order, double space typing. So you're going to double space indent at the first paragraph, indent, all right? And so, and then you'll start writing from there. And so uh, this should be, uh, I think one page is about 500 words. So you should have about 500 words on both essays. Uh, when you see this on record, you, Thank God you can go back over it and get the ideas. So when I'm when I'm writing, so for instance, uh, writing the essay for theology, I would start off with uh, my first sentence would be, um, I found it very exciting to enter into Bible college and and learning the various uh, people and places and events of the Bible uh, gave me reflection on how powerful the word of God is over individual's life, period. So that's my thesis. So now I'm going to write about what I've learned and how powerful uh, the um, Bible class has been to me and, and what learning about the Old Testament has done for me, what, you know, learning about Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, learning about Sarah and Hagar and how they 
uh, 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 the first uh, family that was uh, in dysfunction, so to speak. One of the first families. We know the first family dysfunction was Adam and Eve with Cain and Abel. When Abel what? Abel was killed by Cain. So, I mean, you 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 know, you all know what you learned, but put it in order. Put it in order and 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 tell us you should tell us how uh reading and, and studying the particular characters and events uh in the old testament how it moved you how it affected you um so that's what should be in your writing you know um tell us about something that you maybe you never knew but it was you found it, uh, in going to class and studying, you found that in the Bible and you never knew it. So there's different things you can put in your essay, things that you never thought, uh, things that you never knew about the Bible. Uh, maybe a Bible character you didn't know had uh, performed a certain task that you thought was awesome. You know, maybe it was Noah building an ark just with his family, right? So, so it, it, it could be a, a myriad of things you can write about. Uh, so, and I think uh, because the Bible uh, was our main thrust uh, and is our main thrust in Bible college, it should be uh, quite easy to write about what you've learned and how it affected you. So you want to write about how you, what you've learned and if it affected you at all in any way, uh, you know, did it make you want to read the Bible more? Did it, did it make you want to study a certain character more than you would normally? Did, did, did the teaching uh, propel you to want to become a teacher of the Bible? So what, what moved you? So in writing about what you learned, we also want to know what moved you or did anything move you to do something or to want to try something um, that you never thought you would be interested in? All right. So so uh, uh, you have once again, when you write an essay, you have your introduction and in your introduction, the second sentence is your thesis. Your thesis is the main idea. We know the main idea is tell us what you've learned in Bible college. And so we, we you're going to make that very clear and then begin to break down what you've learned. And then begin to tell us if anything affected you, if anything uh, caused you to uh, want to uh, do something that you wouldn't normally want to do. All right. So uh, then the introduction, of course, the body, the body supports the main, the thesis. Your thesis is your main idea. What I've learned in Bible college. So in the body, you should be telling us the theology class. You should be telling us all that you learned. Well, I learned about there was 12 tribes in Israel. I learned that there was a tribe called Manasseh. And Manasseh was linked up and made one tribe, although it was three tribes. Manasseh and Ephraim and Joseph became one tribe. Right? So we know that tribe was the tribe of Joseph. So we understand that those three became one. I never knew that. I thought it was just 12 separate tribes. Come on, somebody. Come on, class. So uh, there's things to write about that you didn't know. So we want to hear about a few things that you didn't know in coming to class and starting Bible college, right? All right. So I hope that kind of gives you some momentum for writing. Uh, each paragraph that you write should have a thesis. So uh, your second paragraph would be uh, we learned about the uh, uh, creation, we learned about how uh, God created the heavens and the earth. Um, and you might uh, want to, you, know, you want to give supporting uh, documentation uh, scripturally uh, of where that is, right? It's like St. John, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and earth, right? And there wasn't nothing made that wasn't made by him, St. John 1, uh, verses 1 through 3. 
So you want to give supporting uh, information to every statement that you make. And you build, your, 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 your paragraph should, shouldn't be no more than four sentences. A paragraph could be one to, one to four sentences or even up to 10 sentences. It just depends on how much information you have to write about, right? So uh, from the first to the last paragraph, they all should be supporting your main thesis. Your main, the thesis is the central idea that you're writing about. We're writing about what I learned in Bible college. That's your thesis, right? And so and you'll formulate that question or that statement uh, for yourself, but you guys get the gist of your thesis is what I we're writing about what we learned in Bible college. All right. So uh, then you have, of course, your conclusion. And your conclusion is a revision of what you've written. You're highlighting the things that you've written earlier. And that's what your conclusion is. Highlighting what you've already stated, but you're just giving it bullet points. The conclusion is bullet points on your previous paragraphs. Bullet sentences, I like to call them. That's what your, 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 your conclusion is. And it should be clear. Each paragraph, let's go back to the paragraphs. So each distinctive paragraph got to have a, a link to it. So you just, it, it should have a, 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 a transitional sentence that takes you into the next paragraph, the next thought about what you want to say about how, um, about what you learn in theology class. So you got to you got to link those sentences up. You got to have a transitional phrase, a transitional word. Now, I'm going to give you this little tip. All you got to do is go Google transitional phrases, transitional words for paragraphs. Just Google it. It's going to give you about 10 words and about five or seven phrases that you can use to transition each paragraph to where it'll link up and won't be choppy. Right, so you got to do that homework. Um, I wish I was able to diagram these things on the board, uh, but we cannot. But what we will not this class, what we will do uh, the first class out of September, we will go over the writing process. This class will go over, I'll do it on the board, and we will have instructional um, in class instructions on how to write an essay. So don't worry. Uh, we're going to be very lenient uh, in the writing um, because I know that some are just getting back in college. Some are just getting back in school, period. And so writing is not necessarily something we all do um, normally. Uh, so we're going to, I'm going to critique your work, but the work will be critiqued in a way that you're going to be able to pick up essay writing. Uh, when I was in college, I had to write 12-page essays, 12-page reports, uh, 15, 20 pages for my doctorate. Uh, for our master's, it was 20 pages. So uh, 20 pages. I'm not talking about this is just one page. Y'all write one page for each class. So... This should be relatively easy. And some of y'all, you're going to get an A++++ because you're going to write more than one page because you got a lot to say. So, But the minimum is one page per class, right? Um, the business class is the same. What did you learn? And we want it in order that we talk to class. The information should be in order. But we talked about having a vision. A vision board should have um, uh, make a vision board, and so you should. That should be your in your first paragraph in your business essay. It should be uh, how maybe you enjoyed or didn't enjoy the vision board, but that the vision board should be talked about first, not the other principles of how to start a business. That should be in the second paragraph, third paragraph, right, of your essay. So let's uh, make sure that the vision board, 
and Dr. Carla, we will give her a shout out uh, to teaching that class. And so we'll make sure that the vision board goes first. Amen. So let's go over essay writing again. In essay writing, you have your introduction. Well, first of all, let's talk about the breakdown. Preparation, which is collecting uh, words and ideas of what you're going to talk about. In other words, gather your information. Since you're talking about, you're writing about theology, you're writing about what you learned in theology, go get your notes and just jot down the different things. Jot down in order, chronological order, what you learned from day one to the last day, which is today, what you learned in Bible college. So you get those notes and you write down the chronological order. So, okay, I'm going to write about, uh, we learned about creation. Uh, Job, we learned about uh, Moses, the five books of the law. We, we learned about um, the first material that the Bible was written on, papistry, uh, stone, uh, uh, leather. Uh, what else? You know, that's, so you're going you're gonna to start off with the first things, right? And then go on down to the, to the, uh, the different characters that we discussed, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Hagar, right? Uh, Miriam, Aaron, uh, Seth Lamech. So you, you break it, go on down chronological order. And, and so uh, when you do that, now you're filling up your body. You're writing, filling up the body of the paper. And then your revision, of course, is a summary of what you've written. You summarize what all that you've learned and written. Not all, but you just summarize what you learned and written. Summary, all right? So let's see. Did anybody chime in on Messenger? Let me see who chimed in on Messenger. First lady did. Okay. Oh, that's for something else. All right. So, class, this is going to be an exercise in writing that is going to expand some of you. Some of you are going to say, this is a whiz. Some of you are going to say it's a challenge because I haven't written formally in a long time. That's okay. Because we're going to come right back with English 101, the first class session in theology and business. We're coming right back. With uh, the first class is going to be on writing. You have your English class, first lady. Name off the YouTube example. YouTube is Bishop Fletch. Bishop Fletch, go to YouTube. Bishop Fletch. Type in Bishop Fletch, and you're going to get us on YouTube. And. I uh, so I'm just trying to see, and I'm gonna get uh, Sister Vanessa is gonna help me um, see the the names that are people who are on live. So I don't know the two that are out there, but whoever the the two are, I know First Lady is on, Star is on, Steve is here live, but I don't know the other two students that are on. So if y'all can message me, the two students that are on, message me so I know you in class. All right, so introduction, then you have your body, and then you have your conclusion. That's an essay. The first paragraph tells us what you are talking about. What's going to be the theme of your writing? The theme of your writing, of course, is what I learned in Bible college. That's your first paper. Second paper is what I learned in business one-on-one, right? So uh, an understanding that protocol, you're going to write from there. All of your writing is in your notes. What you're going to write about is what you learned about. You're going to write about, hopefully, how it affected you. And if it didn't affect you, hopefully you're going to tell us that uh, you uh, found out some information that shocked you and you didn't, you didn't know that that was that was in the Bible. Elder Robert and Elder Elmore is on YouTube. Thank you, Elder Robert and, uh, and Elder Osegera. Okay, amen. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Uh, so I hope that you all understand that this is an exercise in writing that we're going to revisit. I'm going to say it again. Do not feel anxious about this. Write to the best of your ability. Uh, and, it, you know, it's real simple. It's three phases in, in writing an essay. Introduction. And the introduction has a thesis. It's a second sentence in the first paragraph. And it tells us what you're talking about, what you're going to be talking about, what you're going to be discussing. That's what a thesis statement means. The thesis statement tells us what you're going to be discussing. So, for instance, um, you know, I, I I want to say, you know, if I was writing about uh, Bible college, I would say I found it very interesting uh, to be in Bible college this year. Found that Bible college was uh, a place where my knowledge for God was expanded and enriched. Period. That's your thesis statement. So tell us how was how did the knowledge that you get that you gotten from the Bible college how did it expand you? What expanded in your life? And how did it enrich your life? Right. So now you're gonna write about how it expanded you. It, it, in other words, it grew you. It enriched you. It made you a better person. So now tell us how reading about Hagar or reading about Moses, reading about Abraham's faith when he took his son up to be sacrificed, but God made a way. They didn't have to tell us how that inspired you or whatever. Tell us your feelings about the different people you learned about. What 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 did it do to you? Amen. Amen. So uh, once again, essay has three parts. It has an introduction. It has the body, and the body is where you discuss uh, the particulars of the thesis statement. The body supports the thesis statement. You're like a lawyer when you write an essay. You're like a lawyer if you try, to, and especially if you write a persuasive essay. So there's many different types of essays. So uh, a persuasive essay is you're giving uh, information as to uh, why Bible college was so enriching, enriching to you, why it uh, inspired you. So you got to give information supporting why it inspired you, right? So, and then the conclusion, you sum up each paragraph with one sentence or one statement or one phrase, right? And uh, when you do that, you finish writing. It should come out to about four to 500 words. Yep, per paper. All right, so class, you can look this over. Uh, I'm gonna put it on, on YouTube. You'll be able to look this over and get look at it as many times as you can to get a clear explanation on what it means to write an essay. So once again, an essay is three parts. Introduction. The introduction comes in and you tell us what you're going to be writing about. I'm going to be writing about how Bible college enriched me, how I was thoroughly uh, uh, blessed by Bible college. Okay. Then you start writing. Okay. What blessed you? Well, when I, when I learned about Moses writing the book of the law, when I learned about God writing the first words of the Ten Commandments uh, and, and man didn't know that the whole world population goes, goes, uh, with the Ten Commandments, thou should not kill is in most uh, countries. That's the law in most countries. Didn't, didn't really understand that. Uh, that God gave it first. Uh, thou, thou should not bear false witness. Uh, that's in courtrooms all over the world. You cannot perjure yourself. Don't lie. You cannot lie, right? So, um, uh, you know, it's, it's so many things that we learn that you can write about and support uh, your thesis statement. All right. So introduction, your body, which is your middle paragraphs that are supporting your main idea, which is called the thesis. 
And then your conclusion, you summarize all of what you, not all, but you summarize the big, the main ideas uh, of your essay and you put it in the conclusion. All right. So I hope that I have been helpful to you. Class is adjourned. This is all I have to say. Uh, and may God be your help. May you find help on the internet. If I was you, I would go look at some of the, uh, look up in the internet. If I'm not sure, if you're not sure, uh, look up in the internet and, and see uh, some es examples of essays. Uh, I would do that. You know, it's all on the internet. And so uh, to get even more of a picture, because some of you all are visual, and that's why I really hate not being able to write on the board uh, the introduction and thesis sentence and all of that and breaking it down the body and how the body supports the thesis and writing each um, paragraph that supports a man, my main thesis or idea, and then writing in the conclusion. Uh, but this, sometimes you got to learn on the fly. And uh, when you learn like this, you can do your homework. And thank God for the internet. Like I said, you guys can go on the internet and look up what it means to write an essay and get more of a clear picture. Uh, um, you know, and, and for those of you who work by your site, your site learners, you know, if you see something written down, you get it. Amen. So uh, this was a lecture uh, and the big boys, they go by lectures a lot. Right. The big colleges, the big learning, the big boys learn, you know, the teacher breaks it down, explains it. Then you got to go work it out. So I'm giving you big boy, big girl stuff tonight in that I'm not writing nothing on the board. I'm just basically lecturing you. So but you have the opportunity to go on the Internet and find out and see exactly how an essay is constructed. It's right there. All you got to do is type in example of an essay. Right. So you can for those of you visual learners, you can get that still. All right. We turn it in on the uh, 15th is due 15th, Wednesday, June 15th. Your essay is due in class, in person. For those of you that have not taken the test last the midterm, you need to get in and get the midterm uh, Sunday. You can get, a, get take that midterm test for those of you who haven't taken it. Uh, because this is the last class we're having. The next class, you'll be turning in your uh, your uh, your uh, essays on the 15th. So you got two weeks to write a good essay, two good essays. That's, man, that's more than enough time. You know, in some classes, settings, in uh, junior high, high school, and college setting, they say write an essay right now. You got to write that essay. And the teacher going to grade it, right? Going to grade it right then and there a lot of times. So you got two weeks to write the essay. That's a good start. Uh, we're going to do more writing in our Bible college as the uh, years, uh, months go by. Now, next semester, going to be a little more writing, but we're trying to prepare you now. Amen. All finals will be in writing. Uh, uh, that's for sure. So that's big boy college stuff. When you get your finals and you get it, have to do it in writing uh, and no, not necessarily a particular test. So I hope that uh, you guys have learned something um, for this class. And uh, we look forward to receiving your uh, final grades and getting your final grades out. Uh, final grades will be given uh, the following week, which will be the 20 something of uh june and so you'll get your uh you'll get your um i think it's the 22nd of june you'll get your final uh grades your final grades for the for the year will be given based on your essay so your essay is 30 percent of your class grade so do a good job all right all right we're gonna sign off now and you will be able to revisit this class online in the next 15 minutes or so. Just say 30 minutes.
It'll be prepared online. You can watch it again. All right. See you.